Hi. With the Logic Pro 10.7, they have added the step recording into the step sequencer. With step recording, you can record mini note and events to a pattern region in a way similar to step input recording of MIDI events that is already in there since many, many versions. You can record pattern with the playhead running or with the playhead stopped. Today I want to show you how to record offline and some tricks in order to do it smoothly with the step editor. First, let's have a look how was working with the step input recording. I create an empty MIDI region. I double click, stop, and uh, how was working? Come on, K okay, musical typing, and here I open also the step input keyboard in which I choose my duration note and here I enable in the piano roll the mid in I put a playhead at the beginning of the region I'm offline I'm not recording nothing and what I go, I'm going to do is just press a note C2 and here the playhead is jumping forward of one octave notes here is set for example one quarter i change the velocity f if i press the space bar there is a pause of the duration of what i selected it if i go to 116 the pause is 116 and if i press on my keyboard notes I can write offline MIDI notes and this is very nice if you if you want for example to record and to write notes of a, of a score but what happens if I want to do the same with the step editor I create a new software instrument track I create an empty pattern region I delay the previous one in this case I want to choose something with the glam kit let's choose for example Brooklyn command K I open my glam kit I go to C1 so C1 is the kick S1 is the snare and T1, Ayat. I put the playhead at the beginning. If I enable the MIDI input, then I can start record offline my kick. My snare, and whatever I want. The problem is that I cannot jump in a empty row and cell because if I press the space bar it's going to play so what I can do in order to avoid this I can add some new shortcut let's have a look if I go to K command edit option K I will have here a list step sequence available key command and here you can see that there are some key command symbol with this asterisk means that these these um, shortcut are available only here and this parameter, this select next step, select previous step, is not available anywhere, anywhere than here. So if I want to select step above, for example, I can assign a new key command, for example, control up, 
here, control down. Previous step, control comma. Next step, control dot. Already news, uh, I don't care, so I like it. Okay, I can close it. And now what I can do, control. Control dot, control comma, control down, control up. And now if I press C1, command kappa, A, Go back. For example, I want the snap here. And I can do whatever I want offline. Now it will take a while to to to, to get fast on it. But once you 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 practice on it, probably some of you will like more this kind of recording than not the normal one. Thank you for watching, have a nice day, bye.